Hello, true believers. You got Flying Solo coming at you once again with a live win, lose, or it's not live, it's taped. Win, lose, or draw solo Champions League season 15, episode one. We are Gambit, and we are taking on Taskmaster on standard difficulty. I like to include Seek and Destroy just because I really like that card. And he is going to have the Hydra Patrol and the Sinister Assault uh, encounter sets. So we're going to take this expert set and get it out of there. And we are going to do it to it. Okay, here we are. Ready to play. Uh, we're going to put one threat on hide, hunting down heroes. Okay, let's take a look. So uh, Taskmaster, stage one, force response. After you change to hero form, discard the top card of the encounter deck. Take damage equal to the boost icons on that card. Very bad for uh, Remy here. He only has nine health. Hydra Patrol is in play. When defeated, each player searches the encounter deck. And discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it into play. Otherwise, it is exclamation icon. Hunting down heroes. This goes to 12. So after resolving step one of the villain phase, each player in hero form must choose to either place one threat there or take one damage. We are playing Gambit Protection as per the requirements of the uh, Solo Champions League. Oop. Uh, so we're going to do our due diligence and give a little shuffle live on camera. Of course, this is win, lose, or draw. So... Whatever happens here, if you see me get my butt kicked, that is the result that we are going to put up on the website. If you don't know about the Champions League, you can check in the link below. Okay, so, oh, I got a, what the heck? I got bad shuffling hands, I guess. I'm nervous to fight the Taskmaster. Okay, Remy LeBeau, uh, we are going to take six cards. Deft Focus, we like, oh, and the X-Gene. Okay, so we like this to start, oh, and the X-Jet, oh my lorsh. Oh, my Larsh. Okay. How's the view here? Okay, yeah. So, let's take a look at these. Um, yeah. So, exhaust Remy LeBeau, and look at the top two cards in the encounter deck. Discard one, remove threat. Yeah, we could do that. He only has 13 health. I do... One fort. I do want to get rid of the Hydra Patrol, I suppose. Uh, let's... Man... So we don't gonna need this. Let's put Depth Focus into play. Let's put X Chain into play, and we'll forget about. Well, you know what? Maybe we should take a Mulligan. Maybe. No, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play all three of these. We're gonna put in the X Jet, and we're gonna play the X Gene with Depth Focus. That's what we're gonna do. That seems better. So, of course, Death Focus is a random icon, a, random, a wild icon for an identity specific event, and this is just an icon for an X Man. So, from a scheme, I'm going to exhaust him and do it. So, look at the top two cards, boost icons. So, we're going to Craven the Hunter. Okay, discard one of these cards. Look at that. So, we're going to. Leave Captured by Hydra on top, so we know it's going to have a two boost icon. And we're going to discard Craven the Hunter and finish the Hydra Patrol. That's the discard pile there. So Hydra Patrol is done. Um, so we will search for a Hydra Minion and put him into play engaged with us. Hydra Regular in Sights. Hydra Hunter. Two Scheme. So we only want a one Scheme guy. Hydra Soldier Guard. Deal and Encounter card. We're definitely not taking that. Um, yeah, okay, Hydra Regular then is engaged with us, so he's going to put it in sight. When this card is revealed, put it into play, engage with us. Does that reveal it? I suppose not. If I am wrong about that, uh, please let me know, because I am going to not put the threat there. Okay, so we're going to finish our turn and go to Taskmaster, so... Uh, step one, he is going to put a threat here. And now we are going to put another threat there or take a damage. We'll put another threat there. It goes to 12. Okay, so three threat. And then, uh, actually, you know what? We'll take a damage because he's going to put a, th a, th a threat too. And he's going to scheme. So we'll go down to eight. We'll go down to eight. Two threat there. Now he's going to scheme. So his one plus nothing. So we go up to three, and then he's also going to scheme. So we're at four. And then we're going to reveal an encounter card, which is a surge. Wow, two assaults gone. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. 
Belladonna and the Thieves Guild are in play, the Assassin's Guild, and these are going to get shuffled, and that's really bad for a first turn. But, of course, this is win, lose, or draw, so we are going to deal with this problem, or... You know, die trying. What is with the shuffling today? I swear, I've been playing Magic uh, for 30 years before this. So, I mean, I'm usually I'm pretty good at shuffling. It must be the pressure of performing in front of the camera. Could never be an adult film star. Um, So, Quick Strike, which is not going to happen because we are in Alter Ego. So, we'll give her her toughness. After she attacks and defeats a character, two threat on the main screen, five... After an assassin minion attacks and defeats a character, plays two threat here. Okay, this is really bad. This is really bad. Okay, it's our turn anyway. Oh, I should have uh, readied and drew. I'm really bad for doing things out of order. But anyway, I'll draw now. Six cards. Uh, and now we have the benefit of being awesome with the X-Jet and all that. I put this in there. I don't have Rogue uh, right now, but okay. So, yes, very cool. What are we going to do? Stun a minion. Confuse the villain. Stun a minion. Ready an X-Men character. Mm. Then he can thwart that out. We can also thwart this out. So this has four. And it's going to give a... Hmm... Okay, so x I can only use for an identity-specific event, which I don't have. So, unfortunately, that is going to be uh, wasted this turn. Charge the card. Okay. You know what? We're going to flip. Let's get into the action here. So, we're going to place one charge counter on him. Okay. And should we charge the card? Deal four damage to an enemy. For this attack of Gambit, one, I can make it ranged. Toughness. I could kill Belladonna with the charged card. Two counters gain piercing. Okay, so we, that's what we will do. In fact, we can use the X-Gene for charged cards. So, well, actually, this is worth two. When you play in this card, place a charge. Okay, so what we're going to do is go one, two, three. One, two, three. And uh, play Professor Xavier. So that's going to put a charge, a resource. So that's two. We're going to play Professor X. <sighs> We're going to confuse the Taskmaster. I think that, yes. Then he's going to exhaust and bring that down to one. So that's going to give him a damage, but he is not going to be around long enough. But anyway, now we can charge the card. Uh, one, two. I'm not going to be able to play anything else this turn, unfortunately. But anyway, charge card. So I spent two counters against piercing. So that's f only four to her, though. Shoot. Wait. When you play an attack event, remove up to three counters. That event deals plus one damage. If Gambit, throw to card or ability removed at least two. Oh, so it's going to be six damage. Okay, so piercing and six damage. Bang, she's gone. Okay, we got through that. Belladonna is down. And then I will uh, exhaust and attack him for two. He's down. Okay. And I will... I'm only getting five cards. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of Beauty and the Beast and ready everybody up and to draw four cards. Okay, so we have the armor, the Creole Charmer, Electrostatic Armor, Defense, Defiance, and Armor. Armor, 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 armor. Okay, so two. That's the first thing he's going to do. And now we will uh, put another threat there as per Hunting Down Heroes ability. Oh, shoot. I forgot to... After a player changes the hero form, discard the top card of the deck. Deal an equal number to boost icon. So, three. So, I'm actually at five. Okay. That's rough. And now he is going to attack. So, we're going to defend with Xavier. Oh, and another boost icon from this as well. Okay. 
give me a minute here to wrap my head around this. Okay, he's going to defend with Xavier. He attacks for two plus three. That's five. So Xavier is KO'd right now. Vulture swoops in and helps the Taskmaster get rid of Xavier, chase him away. And now we are going to take our card, Captured by Hydra. Place one set-aside captive ally. Okay, we have those guys right here. One set-aside captive ally face down beneath the scheme. When this scheme is defeated, the player defeated it takes that ally into hand and removes the scheme from the game. Cool. I remember this one. Okay, we're going to put five threat counters there. And that will make it our turn. Let's think about this. I'm going to first use charge of the card to put one counter on a gam old gambit there. Now, I have a lot of threat, unfortunately, in this area here. This is bad. Um, Creole Charmer. Remove three threat from the scheme if they remove last threat. I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? Shoot. Well, X-Gene, identity-specific event. So I'm going to have to use X-Gene for this and this, so... That's an Alderian Alter Eager, e Eager Alter Ego action, so I'll have to wait for that. So let's use Defiance to play Gambit's Guild Armor. Now, if he defends against an attack and takes no damage, he will ready. Um, of course, I have Protection. Now I can play Electrostatic Armor. Yeah, I will play Electrostatic Armor. And now I will flip, since he is confused. And I'll exhaust him. Look at the top two cards. Do this first. Okay, I can remove one. Hunted by Well, it doesn't matter. The boost is only one, so we'll put that back on top. Uh, and then I will play Creole Charmer, so that will be four. Uh, so I'm going to remove it all from Capture by Hydra and pass my turn. So I'm going to ready up. And draw six. One, two, sidestep, charged card, power protection, sidestep, natural agility, and Creole Charmer again. That's good. So he is going to put one threat on here. We're going to put another damage. No, we're going to put another threat. So we're going to go to six. Plus two from these, so that's eight. This is getting really nasty. He's confused, so on his activation, he'll do nothing. And now we will take a card, any card. Hydra Soldier, guard. Okay, so Hydra Soldier is here, and that was going to put it right back to our turn. So he didn't get to do very much. Um, I've got a couple of defense cards in my hand. So let's go and get our ally. Uh, you know, yeah, we'll take a look. We'll do his ability. Take a look at these two. Boost. If you are in hero form, take one damage. Otherwise, place a threat on the main scheme. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll get rid of this. To do one here. Shoot. Only one. Yeah, okay, we'll do one here. And then we'll. This sucks, but we'll play Creole Charmer to remove three from Capture by Hydra. This is the last threat. So that is going to confuse him again. And that is going to give us this ally. Right? Put. Take it into your hand and removes this scheme from the game. So that's gone. A white Tiger, three thwart. You may spend a blue resource, remove three threat from the scheme. Wow, okay, we're gonna put white Tiger in and remove sidestep to defeat this scheme as well. And then exhaust her and bring this down to five. That is so super. Boy, I know, I wonder. If I should flip or not, I only have five health, but okay. So anyway, let's mark her damage. Three, four, one attack. There. That's not right. There. Okay. Charged card. I don't have anything else I can really play. That's the thing. I could keep my sidestep in my hand and use these two. When you defend, place a one charge counter gamma for each charge counter he gets plus one attack, and I can ready him. So yeah, we're gonna flip put another second counter and uh, I will pay two and use charge card for deal four damage I'll just deal four damage to the Hydra soldier I suppose da 
and I have to take in a counter card. Okay, and we are finished. We're going to keep natural agility and draw two. Thieves Guild, three, tackle, four, five, the staff. Okay, and we're going to ready everybody up. Charged card. That's right, mon ami. Okay, that's my gambit. Uh, two charge counters on him. We'll go here. We're going to put two threat here for that one and then hunting down heroes because I can't take any more damage right now, but I am going to defend his attack. So defense three, and we use natural agility. When you defend against attack, place one charge counter on Gambit. So that is three charge counters, and I get plus three defense. Uh, so he is attacking me for two plus two is four. So I take no damage, so I will ready, and he takes one from electrostatic armor. And he goes down to 12. The first damage we've dealt him all game, and we'll take two cards. So the first card is my weakness. Exhaust Remy LeBeau and spend a lightning resource remove guild business from the game. Otherwise, it's an extra encounter card every turn. Hydra Hunter. Attacks are piercing and ranged. Okay, not so bad. Let's go back to our turn. Um, exhaust him and spend a lightning resource. So I will. Exhaust him, spend a lightning resource and get this out of the game. Bam, no problem. Oh, and I use natural agility. That's gone. Okay. Wait a second. What the heck? X jet's still here. So that I'm using. Uh, event. So I can't use the X gene right now. Um, should I tackle? I can spend all of this and tackle and stun him and hit him for three. Well, first thing we're going to do is use White Tiger and bring that down to four. Maybe I should flip and just let him be confused. I'll spend these two to play the Thieves Guild and the Staff. Yep. And I'll flip. Three charge counters still. And I'm going to be finished, so I'm going to ready everybody up. Okay. Yes. Excellent. We're going to put two here to bring it to six. Oh, did I change the hero form again and not take a boost damage? Okay, nothing. That was for last turn. Sorry, a little out of order there. Uh, so he's going to scheme, but he's confused. He's going to scheme and put this to eight. And we are going to take our encounter card. Caught off guard. Discard an upgrade or support you control. Okay, that's not so bad. Well, Thieves Guild. Remove one threat from scheme from last turn. Uh, Thieves Guild, we could you lose. When an enemy attacks, deal one damage to that enemy. So, double. Yeah, we'll lose the Thieves Guild. I suppose. And we are supposed to have six cards. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, it's time to, to go with our Royal Flush and everything. Before this guy gets any tougher. Put the armor down here. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, we're going to fudge. Recover three. This is bad, but... How much choice do I have? I got to flip. So I'm going to have to move a boost and take two damage. So we're down to six. I will use White Tiger's last thing to bring this down to five. Her last health. So I think she's out of the game. Maybe she goes in my discard pile. I'm not too sure about that. Okay, now let's take a look here. We have all of our resource generating stuff. So we're going to play Judoka Skill, which has three counters. Can we see that? Yes, Judoku skill, and that's going to give uh, enemy minus two to attack. One, two, three. Three counters on it. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, X gene. And we're going to use Royal Flush, and we're going to spend all three. So it's going to do three damage three times, so we'll do him, and then we'll do six. We'll bring Taskmaster down to six health. So that's our first major assault against the villain here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just keep these in our hand. So we're going to finish our turn and draw three. There's the rogue. Okay, and now we're going to ready and pass it to him, putting two encounters here again. Down, put up to seven. Um, out of 12. So now he's coming, and we have 
the armor and the staff and the electrostatic armor. So we are going to defend. So I guess I can ready him with the armor. Uh, he only has two. Preemptive strike. When a boost card is turned face up, cancel all boosts and then deal one damage. So yeah, so we're just going to use the preemptive strike on him. Yep, yeah. preemptive strike. So we'll turn the boost card up. Three. And we'll use the jet. And we'll do three damage to the Taskmaster instead. Pow, what a hit. And that is nothing. There's nothing to me. And I will use the armor to ready him. Okay, and he will take two... One from the staff and one from electrostatic armies down to one. <laughs> That's what we are doing here, boys. And we will flip our encounter card. Oh no, Scorpion! Toughness and villainous. Oh boy, I shouldn't have laughed. He on the I, he who laughs the best does the last thing. Words of wisdom. Our turn. Toughness and villainous. We don't have any charge to card here this time. That's for sure. Okay, we'll use. Molecular Acceleration, so that's going to put a charge counter, and we'll give him another charge counter, so that's two, three, four, and we'll play Rogue. Oh, my, minus one cost for each, oh, so she only costs two for each charge counter, so I'll put her in, and she has toughness as well. Excellent, I'm going to keep these two then, uh, so I can beat Taskmaster on his own turn, I suppose. Ah, uh, yup. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to thwart with Rogue next turn. That's my thought. Yeah, this isn't so bad. He does get a boost card, though. After he attacks and damages a character, stun that character. That's not good. That's bad. And he's got six health. Man, what are we going to do with Gambit's attack? I guess I will hit the Taskmaster and put him into his final form. That's my plan. So stage two, he has 16 health. This is going slow and steady. I feel we're kind of against the ropes here. Dealer's player and a counter card. And we change the hero form, discard the top card of the deck, and take damage. Okay. So we'll go to the villain turn, and we're going to put this up to nine. Uh, we're ready up. And we have an extra encounter card. Two, three, four, five. And we're almost out of cards, too. We have charge cards, preemptive strike. This is excellent, though. This is an excellent hand here. So, yeah, we, we, maybe we could finish him this turn. Um, we had 9 out of 12, so he's going to attack. And you know what we're going to do is uh, we're not going to defend this one. We're going to use Judoka skill and give him minus 2 attack. So his attack is 0. And we're going to use Preemptive Strike. So he flips up nothing. So unfortunately, uh, we do not even get to use Preemptive Strike. So that doesn't do anything. But we do get to use the staff that exhausts. So that's two damage to him. He's at 14. That's unfortunate. As I thought, maybe we could make a kill on him. But maybe we still can. Uh, now the scorpion is going to attack. That we will defend. Three. Uh, so. Yep, he has a one boost. So that is, uh, I guess we'll use preemptive strike on him. Okay, now what happens first? After you defend against an attack. We'll have to get rid of the toughness. Cancel all boost icons on that card. Then, when a boost card is returned phase, this is happening first, obviously. So that will be X Jet. So whatever, he loses his toughness, and then he takes one from the electrostatic armor. And I will use Gambit's guild armor to ready the Gambit. Okay. Now, we'll take an encounter card from the top of the deck. Training camp. After minion enters play, give it tough. And Hobgoblin is also here. Patrol and Villainous. Uh, after Hobgoblin attacks, you take two and direct damage. So we're going to have to finish this guy this turn. That's all. We're just going to have to finish this guy now before we die. X Gene. And uh, we'll put a charge counter on him. X Gene. And Defiance. We use Charge the Card to deal 7 damage to Taskmaster. Range, Piercing, and Overkill. Man. 7. Yeah, he's dead. That's 7. He's down to 7. Then we're going to attack him. Rogue's going to attack him. That puts him to 3. She loses her toughness. 
And now we'll use Return the Favor. Attack action, discard cards until we discard a treachery, reveal it, and then kill the villain. Deal five damage to him, which will finish him. Insight one, that goes to ten. Ooh, uh, it's close. If you scheme, that would have been the game, right? Each player in hero form takes one damage and discards a card at random from their hand. So that is going to put me down to five and whatever else. Taskmaster is defeated because he takes five direct damage. So there we go. We were finally able to lay a big beat down on Taskmaster. It was a tough game. I think that went about eight rounds. I'm going to double check before I submit my results. Uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, uh, please leave a comment and do the subscriptions and all that stuff. If you want to. If you don't want to, whatever. What can I do about it? You are free to live your own life the way that you want to. Hope you enjoyed the game. Sorry about my minor gameplay mistakes. I am a doofus. Goodbye.